We're back again today for more another um, another in our series of Bauer Family Learns, and today we're going to be learning how to play Lots, a competitive tower building game, which is coming to Kickstarter uh, in later in 2019. But right now we got a prototype of it. I played this a whole bunch at Origins recently, and I really fell in love with this game. And I'm going to teach Sean how to play right now. Are you ready, buddy? Yeah. So what we're doing is we are going to be construction workers and we are going to be building up this building right here. But we're both trying to get a promotion at work. Do you know what a promotion is? No. That means that uh, they give you more responsibility and they pay you more money. So we're racing to get a raise at work. So the first person to get all the way to where there are two dots on the 40 right here is going to win the game. If we were playing with Mommy, it'd be the 35. And if we were playing with uh, me, you, Mommy, and Luke, it'd be right here to the 30. So the next thing we need to do when we first set up the game block. is put purple cubes on all the spots with purple cubes on it. You want to do some of these? Yeah, sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Then what we want to do is we want to pick... Is the purple cubes lunch break? I'll tell you what they are. They're actually really powerful and really good. There's a whole bunch of other ones that are going to come with the game uh, so we can have different buildings that we're making. But right now, we're going to make this building right here. Does that sound all right? All right. So you want to be red and I want to be blue? So to start off the game, what we're going to do, first thing is roll this dice. Which makes you have a lunch break. And you want to roll it right over here. You don't want to roll it too close to the board. Whoop. So right red. over here. So you get one of the red tiles. Put it in front of you. I'll roll it up. I'm going to get one of the blue tiles. I'll put it right in front of me. And then Those are the colors we are. Yep. Oh, it is. And then you're going to get one card. Now, do you want to try and read this card by yourself and figure it out, or do you want some help? colors on this turn. So, do you want me to help you with the cards? Yeah. Alright, so we'll go. We'll do our cards open-handed. So, score two times points for matching colors on this turn. So, if you can score a whole bunch of colors, which I'll explain to you in a second, that's really good. Can you leave the card in there? Alright, so now, it says the person with the muddiest shoes goes first. We're not wearing shoes, but your socks look pretty muddy, so you can go first. So, what you're going to do is, you're going to roll the dice first. Roll right over here. And then you're going to take that color. That's my color. So now you will have two colors in your hand, and you have to play one of them on to the build site over here. All right, um, I'm at work, guys. The only rule is it can't be popping off the side. It has to stay inside those squares. All right, guys, I'm back at, Absolutely. I'm at work. Now, next we're going to check to see if you score any points. So... Here's how the two ways you can score points. Well, there's actually three because you can also use cards to score points, as you saw. So the two ways you can score points are if you complete a row. So let me show you something. So if I were to do um, this, I completed that bottom row, right? So you uh, get a point? Five points. That's a lot of points. Now, the other way that I might complete points is by putting my this color next to another brick of the color. So right now, if I put it right here, it's touching one yellow, so it's worth two points. If I put this next one, Sean, look, right here, it's worth two plus two, four points. So if you can put a bunch of colors next to each other, you can score a bunch of points. So, but you put your red right this, like this, right? All right, so no, you didn't score any points. You probably don't want to use your card because you didn't score any points. And my card says, after a die roll, swap any block with another player and score two points. Except purple cubes. So that's pretty cool. I can kind of steal one of your blocks. All right, so I got the yellow. And I will go ahead and get a little bit... I'm going to go right there. So now, your turn. Roll the die. See what you get. You got another blue. Wow, that's nice. So, do you want to put on another red, or do you want to put on another blue? Either way, you're probably going to score some points. Da -da -da. So now that we have two blues touching each other, you get two points. So this one, touch one. So you want to move one, two. Now, you'll also notice that there's purple cubes and these yellow hats are on the outside, right? Those are for the person who goes across that last. So if you go across this next turn, then I will get a purple cube when I go across it. And the purple cubes are really awesome. Because look at a spot like this. That's a pretty hard spot to play, right? Purple cubes let you just slide it on in there and you can play it. So they're pretty nice. Plus, if you play a purple cube, you still get to play a regular cube too. 
My turn. I got. Ooh, I can pick any one I want. And you know what I want? I want another blue. You know why? Hmm. I'm going to put it right here. And look at that. That's touching two blues now. So I'm going to get four points. One, two, three, four. Woohoo! I'm the best builder ever! Well, what if you cross that line first? Then you won't get the purple cube. Well, that's the that's the crux of the game, brother. Let's see what we got. Yellow. So you grab a yellow, and then you can either play your red or your yellow. Hmm. So you played your red, you could score some points. But if you play your yellow, you might not score points. All right, so you scored two more points, which means, oh, this is the other interesting thing about the game. Uh, if you ever land on someone's spot, you push them forward. Whew. So you would go three, four, and then just oh, shove me forward. Mm. So let's see. I'm going to roll the dice. A red. Wow, that's pretty good. <sighs> is this safe? Can I do this? Yeah, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to slide this red right here, and now I'm touching two reds, so I just scored four points. One, two, three, four. Oh, and I forgot to talk about these hats. So, if you land on the hat, then you, or if you're the last person across the hat, you get another card, and these cards can help score your points. So they're pretty good. All right, so your turn, buddy. Ooh, any color you would like. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, you could you could have yourself a pretty big play if you if you pick the right color. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is. There's a couple colors that'll help you. You want the red? All right, then where are you putting the red? Mm. Remember, it can't be poking off the side. You gotta be very careful, it doesn't fall. No, it can't poke off the side, buddy. It can't do that, you can't do that. It has to be, it has to be so it's inside there. Nope, that's still poking off the side, look. You can't have that. It has to stay inside this little rectangle. You can't do that, buddy. Do you wanna do this? Yes. Or do you wanna do that? I wanna do this. You also could turn it like this if you wanted and build like that. Or you can turn it like this. All of those don't look cool. Okay. Well, you put it how you want to put it. You can't put it off the side, though. See, that's off the side. Let me do it off the side. Well, buddy, that's not how the game's designed, okay? All right, so we're you scored. We can do that. We're not going to house rule it on your first time, dude. So, you got two points. If you'd like to, you could use your card, which would let you score four points instead. Or you could hold on to it. You want to score that? Okay, so you get to move four points. You want to move yourself four? But be careful. One, two, three, four. And now you get that purple cube. What? All right. And you're also going to get that uh, another card when it gets to it. Oh, no, no, no. You put lay that on your turn. Oh, yeah. And you normally want to play it if it's going to help you complete a row. Because like I said, rows are worth five points. It's a lot of points. Red. Oh, my goodness, Sean. You set me up for a lot of points right here. I'm going to slide this red right here that's touching one two three four i just scored eight points one two three four five six seven eight yeah there is a really good um, a red play and a blue play that would have got you eight points with your card but sometimes you see them and sometimes you don't what you got what you got green so you have the yellow you have the green you also have the purple and oh do you see what might be a nice move with the purple? What? Well, let's see. Um, oh, wait, did someone complete? Oh, my gosh. Sean, you have a really good move, but I'm, I'm, I want you to see it yourself. Can you tell me? No. So put your purple down and look at all your cubes and say what would be a really good move for you. Now, remember, what are the ways you can score points? Completing rows. Completing rows will get you a whole bunch of points and touching the same color. So you're not going to be able to touch the same color, but can you complete some rows? Look around the board and see if you can figure something out. I can't complete any rows. You're not trying. Pretty sure you're just uh, getting frustrated. I still can't complete rows. So remember, this is what it looks like when you complete a row. Okay, so let's pretend that you know we got this and this. And somebody does this right here. So if you were to fill in this spot right here, you would complete that bottom row, okay? And you get five points. So are there any of these that you can complete? Ooh, careful. You know what, this is the one time I'm gonna let you get a gimme, buddy, because I'm, I'm pretty excited you figured it out. But next time when that happens, you don't get any points for the turn. So remember, this is very careful. 
Oh, oh, and then you want to tighten it up. You want to tighten it up a little bit, mm -hmm. squeeze it in there. You don't want to? All right, so you just completed two rows, right? One, two. So that's 10 points. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. Right here. So one, you get a card. Two, three, four, you get a cube. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy moly, you get another card. Wait, that ha that fell down on that. Then you probably should have tightened it, buddy. But we'll let that one slide. Uh, dude, you gave me two cards. Yeah, that's because you earned two cards. Oh, yeah. So let's see, and you also have two purple cubes, so you got to spend one <laughs> next time. So this one says you can score half the points another player just scored. So when I have a good turn, you can steal. You can take. Not steal, but you also get half my points. Mm -hmm. And once per turn, score the block you play as if it were the color of your choice. Whoa. So that means you could pretend, uh, you could put like a green here and pretend it was red to score points. All right, my turn. All right, I'm going to roll the dice. I got an orange, which doesn't really help. Or, oh. Yeah, because you don't have the engineer card. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Oh, I can't do that. What what card do you have? What what cube do you have? You have green? Man, these aren't good. I'm gonna go yellow. So I'm gonna score two points, two points. And I get the purple cube, the purple purple cube. So now I have purple cube too. Your turn. So roll the dice. And remember, you can only play one purple cube this turn. So you have an orange. So, do you wanna play you can play your purple and your green or your orange, but you need to play one of those purples, okay? I don't think you can hoard them like that. I'm not quite sure. So, oh man, there's a really good move for you, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, so don't ask. I think you can figure it out. So, take your turn, buddy. There's five points. Can you tighten it up a little bit? Gently push it in. And if you want, you can use two hands like this. Because it says you can use two hands. And then you still get to put one of those in. Look. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's wearing a hat. So play one of those, buddy. Nope, you can't use the other purple cube. You gotta use the orange or the green. You can use the other purple cube next time, I think. Alright. I'm pretending that's a yellow. Oh, nicely played. That's nine points. So two right here, and then five. Wow. What, um, <laughs> High five, dude. That was impressive. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> I seven. That is a serious, eight, nine, proud eight. dad moment right there. So that's the 28. You got to be careful when you're moving the board, okay? Very nice, Sean. That was excellent. Not for me, but for you. I'm left to pick up the pieces. I will go ahead and um oh, my cons I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Ooh. So it doesn't help me score any points. But hey, it's better than nothing. Oh, and I can put a, play this purple cube, but I will choose not to for right now. Yeah. Alright, so where are you gonna play? Oh, you use this card. Yep, that card goes to the discard pile. What does this say? That says, when I, when I have a good turn, you can score half my points. I still get all my points, but you get half of them. Hmm. Right now, you are beating me by quite a lot. I need a good turn. Where are you going, buddy? You got yellow, orange, and purple. Now, be careful. It's getting taller and taller. The next time it falls down, we're going to say that's, uh, that's zero points for your turn, though. Okay, so I want you to be extra careful. Remember, you can use two hands. All right, so two points. So would the two, which is another purple cube I'll get if I can score any points anytime soon. Can I get the dice? It's a die. You're correct. <laughs> hey, that just happened. Boy, boy. Please stop bumping the table, buddy. I don't think that was on there. It's not a big deal. So four. Actually, yeah, I'll go right here. No. You know what? I'm going to go right here. And then I'm also going to play my purple cube to go right there and get five points. One, two, three, four, five. I'm using this on for you. Okay. So, uh, score half the points another player just scored. Uh, I don't know if it rounds up or rounds down, but since you're crushing me so hard, we're going to round it down, and you get one... Wait. Oh, where are you? You're right here. One, two points. 
You know what? We'll, we'll round it up. That seems fair. Ooh, All I right. get a yellow pack. Actually, I don't. Nope. I will get it because I am in the back. Oh, I get another purple cube. Awesome. Your turn, buddy. Mm. What do I have? That's green? I don't remember. We'll see if it's green. question mark. Oh, which one do you want to pick? Play one red left, three yellows. What you getting? What you getting? All right, you getting the red? All right, where are you going to play it? This. You, you're going to play it up top? You won't score any points if you do that. All right, so that's no points. My turn. The blue one. This building is getting taller. Uh, I am going to go ahead and place this green, which is going to give me two points. This building is kind of be... All right. Oh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. You're at 33. Your turn, buddy. You got to score some points. Mm -hmm. If you match a purple on a purple, do you get some points? Uh, nope, nope. That's not a rule in the game. Uh, kind of weird, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, roll the dice. Anything you want, except for red, because we're all sold out. Sorry, sir. Uh, that's good, because I didn't want red. What uh, do you want? Can I buy a... Uh... Agree. That'll be free. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Are you going to do the move I think you're going to do? It's your turn. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's... Okay. Would you like to use your purple? Sure. I would take a good look around the table. He just got a huge smile. That does not complete a row. Does that complete a row? The green? No, it does not. But does that give me any points? That will give you two points. Your purple will give you no points. Do you want to keep your purple there? You want to move it or you want to hold on to it? I want to hold on to it because I want my to get two points. Well, then very carefully take that back. So two points. Oh, man. Got some good news or got some bad news? What is the bad news? Actually, there's no good news. Well, there is good news, but it's for me. The bad news is you could have placed the purple cube right here, and that would have given you five points, which would have made you win the game. The good news is I'm going to get the... Oh, I don't get a red. So now you get to pick which one I get. So you can pick any one of these that I get. So if there is not an available dice, then the person to your left gets to pick which one you take. This Maybe one doesn't look so helpful. That actually is insane. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, I was going to say, that's an uh, insanely helpful one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That one um, is less helpful, but still not the end of it. Is this going to work? Don't move the table. Don't move the table. I'm going to put this on here just to be safe. Oh, I can do that, and I'm going to slide this purple. Slide this purple right down under there. So I will get, let's see. Five points. Uh, 12 points. So I completed this row. I completed that row. I scored two, which means, oh no, I'm only at 38 points. <gasps> oh, if I would have used my card, it would have given me two more points. Bummer. I could have won. Uh, I do get these two purple cubes and like a boatload of cards though. So this is most likely going to be your last turn, Sean. You're either going to get five points and win the game, or I'm going to win the game. So you need five points this turn. Oh, card. So what do you want to do? And I will tell you, and I'm not going to tell you what it is, no matter how much you complain, there is a way for you to win the game right now. But I'm not going to tell you how to do it. I'm going to see if you can figure it out yourself. There's one, and it looks like only one way. And it's not by making a Christmas tree out of the tiles. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what you gonna do, buddy? What you gonna do? Okay. <laughs> Alright, giggle box. Take your turn, brosive. Sean, you're not looking at the board. Okay. What's the... There's only one spot open. 
That won't fit there. It'll be poking off the side. This problem. All right, so that's going to score you two points. Do you want to use your purple cube? Yes. Where are you going to put it? That's going to score you seven points. You want to give yourself seven points? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. You won. High five, dude. <laughs> Good game. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna beat you. You had some big plays. Very nice. Watch. Oh, if I would have used that one card, it would have been all so different. Oh my gosh, we just built that. Ah! Why nope. did you do that? That was Godzilla, bro. Oh, Godzilla. That's unfortunate. So, Sean, that's your first time playing lots. What'd you think about the game? Liked it. Yeah, uh, I really, really enjoyed this game. No. I think it's gonna work really well as a family game. I can see myself. Hey, Sean, you keep down a little bit. I can see myself playing it with kids in my classroom. Uh, I think this is one that absolutely mommy's going to like and Luke's going to like. And even though this is just a prototype, I think I'd probably keep this game as a prototype uh, if it didn't fun, which hopefully it absolutely does because it's a really fun game. Uh, we're playing with adults at Origins, playing with kids now. Still like it a lot. That is lots. It looks like it might be a cup of tea. Be sure to check lots. that one out. I want to, uh, okay, if you... In the comments below, let me know. Now your question. Um, if you were building a building, what would you make? Ooh. I would make an amuse I would make an amusement park. Whoa, what kind I of, mean what would be in your amusement park? A roller coaster. One? Or m more than one. A roller coaster? What with a, that that um when you go inside like that, you go inside this cave and a bear just, a toy bear just, Ooh. hello, hello. That sounds creepy. So is this going to be a creepy roller coaster? And, Are you having a haunted amusement park? Because that sounds awesome. Yep. Oh, man. What else? What, all right. Tell me one more creepy thing you're going to have at your amusement park. And there's also another roller coaster that you go into a cave with. And there's... Um, I, um, little boy, <laughs> petting a bear. What? And there's a polar bear hugging a fish. I, I don't think I'd be scared at that point. And I would just be. And there's also a vampire, um, jumping out of a picture. Now that sounds scary. Uh, the polar bear hugging a fish just sounds... <laughs> Like, good friends, I guess? Like, that overcame the odds? Yeah. Like, we can't be friends. No, we're going to be friends. That sounds like a really terrible movie. Really terrible animated movie. All right. Uh, for me, uh, if I could construct one building, I would construct a... Dead hmm, animal? No. No, not, not at all. I would probably make myself... Um, a diner? Now, I'm trying to think of something that I wouldn't ever have to work at, but that would still make me money. Hmm. It's a tough one. A toilet paper factory? A toilet paper factory? How about just a, uh... Factory? How about a hotel? I want a hotel. I want to construct a hotel. How cool would it be to stay in a hotel room every night if you really wanted to? I want to live in a hotel. Well, there you go. I'd construct a hotel. You construct a music park, and we'll have a good old time. Don't stay on the table, please, sir. <laughs> yes! Yes! Right. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube. <laughs> you like that game, buddy? I want to look at all the cards. Okay. <laughs>